John and Sarah had always wanted a bigger house. They had outgrown their current home and needed a place that could accommodate their family of four. With their daughter, Emily, starting school and their son, Benjamin, getting more active, they needed more space. When they found the perfect house, they were thrilled. It was perfect for their family. It had everything they were looking for. But there was one catch, the previous occupants had died in the house. The real estate agent assured them that the house was fine and that the deaths were not suspicious. John and Sarah decided to take a chance on the house and moved in. They quickly found out that the house was haunted by the ghosts of the previous occupants, Mr. and Mrs. Green. The ghosts were harmless and just wanted to be left alone. But John and Sarah were not prepared to deal with ghosts. They tried to ignore the ghosts, but they were constantly pranking them and making noise. John and Sarah were at their wit's end. They didn't know how to make the ghosts go away. One night, John and Sarah were woken up by a loud crash. They went downstairs to find that the ghosts had knocked over a vase. They were fed up with the ghosts and decided to confront them. John and Sarah demanded that the ghosts leave the house. The ghosts said that they would leave if the family gave them a proper send-off. John and Sarah agreed and the ghosts left the house. The family was finally able to enjoy their new home in peace. The family had a big party to send the ghosts off. John and Sarah invited all of their friends and family. They had a big feast and everyone had a great time. The party was a success and the ghosts were gone for good. The family enjoyed their new house without the ghosts. They were happy to have their peace and quiet back. Everything was going well until one day, Sarah began to feel like she was being watched. She would see things move out of the corner of her eye, and she was sure that the ghosts were back. John and Sarah tried to convince themselves that it was just their imagination, but they couldn't shake the feeling that the ghosts were back. They began to feel like they were being watched all the time, and they would hear strange noises in the house. Emily and Benjamin were starting to get scared, and they didn't want to sleep in their own beds anymore. One night, John and Sarah were in their bedroom when they heard a noise coming from the children's room. They went to check on them, but they were both asleep. As they turned to leave, they saw the ghosts of Mr. and Mrs. Green standing in the doorway. The ghosts were back, and they were not happy. The ghosts were back, and they were not happy. They wanted the family out of their house, and they were going to do whatever it took to make them leave. The family started to notice that things were disappearing from their house. Their food would go bad, and their clothes would get ruined. They would find strange things happening in their house, and they knew that it was the ghosts. One night, the family was sitting in their living room when they heard a noise coming from the kitchen. They went to check on it, and they saw the ghosts of Mr. and Mrs. Green standing in the kitchen. The ghosts were angry, and they were throwing things around the kitchen. The family was terrified, and they knew that they had to leave the house. The family packed up their things, and they left the house in the middle of the night. They were never going to come back, and they were never going to forget the experience. The family left the house in the middle of the night and they were never going to come back. They were never going to forget the experience.